I'm going to do a short video on the Mercury uh, smart Wi-Fi bulb. Um, this is something Walmart's selling now. is a whole line of Mercury stuff. Um, this one just happens to have a color pattern on it. Um, I saw white ones there. I saw some uh, plug-in modules, lamp modules, a couple switches, a couple different things. I'm sure they're all going to set up basically the same, so I'll figure I'll do one device, show you how to set it up, if you have to create an account, what to do on your app, and how to get you started with these Mercury devices. Alright, so let's open it up, see what's inside. I'm assuming it's just a light bulb. So I'm going to be take the light bulb out, put the light bulb in the socket, download the app, and then find the light bulb. That would be my best guess. Shouldn't be too difficult to set up. It'll take me longer to get it out of the box and I'll have to uh, actually set it up. So LED light bulb, it does have a um, feels like maybe a porcelain base, uh, plastic top, LED uh, light bulb on the inside, so you're not going to break the glass, it's plastic. Probably could crack the uh, base though if you're not careful with it. Alright, so there's another thing in there, some instructions. Um, yeah, light bulb. Uh, user manual, need a router, it is 2.4 gigahertz, so if you've got a system that's a 5 gigahertz only, or if you're using like an Eero mesh, you're going to have to disable the uh, 5 gigahertz temporarily, if it doesn't uh, automatically go in. So we're going to download the app, and we're going to just follow the instructions on the app. This does also say it's uh, Alexa and Google enabled, uh, so it should work with both uh, Alexa and Google. Alright, if you're new to setting up smart devices, there's usually a QRC code either on the box or in the instruction manual. Um, mine is an Apple device, so I'm going to go to the App Store QRC code. I'm going to take my smartphone, I'm just going to open up the camera. I'm going to take a picture without even pushing the button. It'll automatically come up with a smart link at the top. So it says view in the App Store at the top, so I'm going to click on that. And it'll take me to the right uh, app to download. So if you just type in the Mercury, you come up with a whole bunch of different apps for Mercury. If you scan the one that's in the code, it'll bring up the correct app for your device. So I'll go ahead and double click, download and install it. It says Genie, but it did Mercury at the bottom. It did say Mercury at the bottom, I should say. And it is showing controlled devices, colored light bulbs, which is what we have. Mercury Innovations LLC. All right, so once I'm done downloading, take a sweet time, open the app, I'm going to have to register, agree to their terms, United States, I'm going to put in my email, it's going to send you a verification code, click on that, there's my verification code, 504-509. And that will be unique to you, so it's not like you can take my code and figure something out. I'm going to create a password. Uh, do I want to allow to send me a notification? That's personal. Uh, whether you want it to or not, I'm not going to allow it. This would basically be if you want someone, if someone turned on the light bulb, it would tell you, hey, someone turned on the light bulb or turned on the device. So I'm not going to do that for this situation because I'm not going to keep it probably. Uh, would like to find a connect to your device on your local network. Yes, we want to do that. Uh, we're going to allow it to use only once. It's going to access my home data. I'm going to allow that. I'd like to use Bluetooth. I'm going to allow that. And I'm going to hit OK. OK. And we're ready to add the device. So we're going to hit Add Device. We're going to pick Smart Lighting. I got my Wi Fi network here. We got both signals. Do my password for my network. Once I type in the password, it's going to say, is my light bulb flashing? Well, no, it's not because it's still laying on my desk because it never told us to plug it in first. So I'm going to plug in the light bulb. So back to my app. I've got my light on now. As you can see, it is flashing. So it's flashing quickly. So I'm going to click on that. We're going to add device. It should find the light bulb on the Wi-Fi. 
put it on there and should be done. So I stop flashing, adding device. It's going to tell me it has joined my network. That's my Eero popping up telling me that. There's my light bulb. If I wanted to change the name of it, I would hit the little pencil. And I'm just going to call it leg lamp. Save. Done. Okay. Once I get to this point, that takes me into the brightness or the color. So I can raise it and lower it. It looks like I can do more. I can schedule it for a timer. I can hit color. I can change the color of the light. Go back to white if I want to. Create a scene. Looks like it's just going to change the uh, color temperature of the light bulb based off of what you're uh, picking as far as your scene goes. And that's about it. So a really easy device to install and set up. I'm going to go back to the main page. I'm assuming once you get more devices added or if you have 10 light bulbs, they would all just show up here. Put them in one at a time. Don't hook them all up and turn them all on because if not, they'll be flashing everywhere and you'll have a hard time figuring out what's what. So you just want to add one device at a time. If you have another light bulb from there, you'd hit the plus sign. Pick what you want, turn it on, and go from there. Hope everyone uh, enjoyed the video. Hope that helps you out setting up your Mercury devices from uh, Walmart.